Many of my clients find that before they start working with me, they're just not able to stay motivated or to stick out a diet long enough to get the results that they want. So if you are having this challenge, then stay tuned for this video because I'm going to be sharing with you how to stay motivated to work out, eat healthy, and lose weight, and why you can't stick to a diet. So let's get straight into the video. The number one most important factor when you are getting started on a fitness journey is you want to have a vision. You want to have a vision of yourself ahead of where you are today, having already achieved what it is that you want. So take some time to think, what is it that you really want to create and what motivates you to do it? Find a way to create some emotional leverage on yourself. Is it because you want to feel confident in your summer clothes? You want to be able to go to the beach and feel comfortable and confident in a bathing suit? Maybe it's because you want to be able to run around with your kids and tell their adults and be there for them for the long term, whatever it is that motivates you. Or maybe you want to feel sexy in bed and confident with your lover, or maybe you want to attract a partner, whatever it is. Just take some time to think about it and write it out. Write it out as if it's already happened. Really get into the feeling of what that's gonna be like once you've achieved that. And once you've created this, this is your vision. And you wanna take some time to focus on this every day because when you are getting started on a weight loss journey, you're gonna be coming up against the habits of the past when you're trying to step into new habits. Sometimes this process can be, you can deal with some resistance. It's like stepping out of the old and into the new. But if you can push through this, this beginning uncomfortable phase, then you are going to be able to cement these new habits and actually get sustainable results. So having your vision in the forefront of your mind is really going to be an important part of this process. So be sure that you are focusing on that on a daily basis. Number two, you want to make health and fitness an aspect of your identity. Once health and fitness is an aspect of your identity, you are not going to operate too far out of the habits that keep you in shape. So I am in this position now where health and fitness is an aspect of my identity. So I will not get off track because I identify as a healthy fit person. There is a great book, it's called The Alter Ego Effect, and it talks about a process on how to really create this alter ego in your mind and to, to keep it in your mind's eye until you become the alter ego, okay? So that's definitely a great book to check out. I will put a link in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. But the truth is, if you just stay focused on your vision and you commit to doing the sets and reps and building the new habits and maintaining them for long enough to cement them, eventually health and fitness will become an aspect of your identity. And that's when you really know that you have nailed this down and you're gonna stay in shape for good. Another aspect is you want to make sure that your healthy eating and training and fitness program is something that you enjoy. Is it sustainable? Is it something that you can maintain over the long term? Do you enjoy the training that you're doing? Do you enjoy the food that you're eating? So what I find works best for, for long-term sustainable weight loss is following a high satiety diet because when you are following a high satiety diet, you can eat in a calorie deficit, which is required to lose weight. You wanna make sure that you're eating less calories than you're consuming on a daily basis. And the easiest way to do this is to follow a high satiety diet template because it's going your meals are gonna keep you full for as long as possible you are not going to need to eat less often, which is going to be really good for your health, keeping your blood sugar stable. And it's also going to make it easier to not overeat. And it's also going to reduce cravings. So the reason many people struggle to stick to a diet is because they are not eating in a way that keeps them full. They're not properly combining their macronutrients properly. So they're hungry all the time, right? And then it becomes really difficult to eat in a calorie deficit when you're hungry all the time. I actually heard, recently heard a popular fitness influencer saying it's normal to be hungry when you're on a diet. I do not agree with this at all. This is not how you need to do things. If you structure your meals properly, then you do not need to be hungry on, on a weight loss journey, okay? So I have some free resources for you. Check out my perfect plate planning guide and also my permanent weight loss grocery list. You can grab them down in the description box below. And that's gonna teach you the best high satiety anti-inflammatory foods to eat and also how to pair foods together at mealtimes to so that you can stay full for as long as possible to help you with your 
fitness journey and also with losing weight and keeping it off for good. These are resources I usually only give to my private clients, so definitely grab them while they are still available for free. Also, if you want to get in the best shape of your life, double your energy and feel better, I wanna offer you my Fast Start to Fit Body mini course. You can grab it down in the description box below and it's gonna give you the fundamental keys to burning fat, doubling your energy and feeling better and stay that way permanently. So in this video, I shared with you how to stay motivated to work out, eat healthy and lose weight and why you can't stick to a diet. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, share with your friends and comment below helpful if this video helped you. I love you guys and I will see you on the next video. Bye. Hello, my friend. Be sure to check out the videos that I've hand selected for you here and here and also subscribe to my channel here. And if there's any video topics in regards to natural health and fitness that you would like me to speak about, then please let me know in the comments below. And also just say hi, I would love to meet you. Have an amazing day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.